Hello, Blue House, and welcome back to my channel. As usual, it's your girl Mogi, the Pastel Blue, aiding you on your spiritual journey, one pastel post podcast YouTube video, wherever I can get it to you at a time. And today we are back with another unboxing. I feel like it has been such a long time since I've unboxed anything. So my boyfriend got me this anime tarot deck, which I have been looking at for quite a while now and I am very excited. So we're just gonna jump right into unboxing this. I have my scissors ready because I feel like in most unboxings, the ceram wrap here is what is the death of me. I just don't like cutting the box. Okay, so here we go. We've got the ceram wrap. Listen to those. That ASMR, we love it. Nonetheless, the box is very pretty. Online, I thought it had some sort of like metallic. Oh, the box is cut. Did I just do that? I hope I did not. Oh my gosh. Anyway, it's okay. The box. I have a lot of issues with my boxes. It doesn't make me too upset, but it is a hefty box, honestly. It's very heavy. So inside is plain I can actually pop this right there for right now ah! let's get some more light in here okay let's see so I'm I was going to say I'm going to assume this has a pretty hefty guidebook which it does and we will dive into this in a second but let's take a look at the cards the back is the backings are pretty simple black and white and ooh this is a nice touch cuz i don't feel like a lot of my cards have rounded ends like this I don't know if it's a modern the modern the midnight city tarot like they're rounded but they're not like this maybe it's just because i've had this deck for a while but nonetheless I like the rounded edges. There's nothing too fancy about the backing or the sides. Ooh, well, I guess the sides kind of look cool, but it's not like a metallic or anything. The art is very cute. It's obviously going to be an anime style tarot deck. Ooh, I didn't realize it was going to be so pastel colored. It's actually really cute it's so cute I was not expecting oh I love the hermit I was not expecting it to be so cutesy but it's like very very cute let's look let's skip the oh look I was gonna say let's skip the major arcana a little bit and go to the this I saw the sun image and I was like it's so cute. I saw that online, it was so cute. But let's go into the minor arcana. So we do have wands. Let's see. I wanted to see if it was the same okay, cups. Swords and pentacles. Oh, cool. So it is the same. Um, it does have the same system. It isn't. I thought it was going to be like a different. They were going to have different suits, I guess. But it, it's not. The court cards are also very cute. I will say that the... Oh, I'll pick it up. The actual like minor arcana cards are pretty simple. You can see with the wands. But I'm not mad at it because the, like I said, the court cards are super cute and pretty. So the simplicity of the minor arcana is not a problem for me. I love the major arcana. The art on it is just so cute. Now, you know, this would not be a complete unboxing if I didn't tell y'all how I felt Ooh, about the shuffling. I wouldn't say that it's buttery, like it's not very smooth, but it is a deck that you will have a lot of control over because it's 
they're not sliding all over the place, but they're shuffling amongst each other very nicely. So I'm going to give this a... I'm going to give this a 9 out of 10. But let's look at... We had cards jump out, and you know in true fashion... Well, we have to look at the cards that jumped out. So, we have Zihu, the Ace of Pentacles, the Knight of Swords, and the Queen of Swords. Now, this gives us a chance to look at this guidebook here, which is also full color which I really love, right? But let's look at the fool because that should be the first page. Boop. Okay, so let's see. New beginning, spontaneity. I don't know why I always say that word. With the, I cannot say that word all the time, but innocence or naivete, adventure. Let's see. The fool is starting on a new adventure on a path towards enlightenment. Take the leaf of faith they set out on their journey with heartfelt abandon the fool may not know where they are going or what awaits them on their path but that does not stop them from oh wait a minute i'm sorry i got so distracted because the while the meanings are true to the right away i really love that look it says shoujo heroine right it says the shoujo heroine appears in and then it tells you what kind of, like, what anime this type of character appears in, which, look, Sailor Moon Cardcaptor Sakura. This, this is, this just got, oh, wait, let's see, let's see, let's see. One of them is the samurai. Let's see, right? The samurai. I mean, they're not long, but I'm highly upset they don't have Naruto here. Wait, 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 hmm. they have a Kamiga kill, which redeems some points for them, but we will see. But I also want to see, you know, I also have to look all the time. Where's the tower? That is, that will be the definition of whether or not, you know, I have positive feelings for this type. Let's see. Get ready for a shakeup because the tower is alerting you that a storm is on the horizon. Some drastic change is coming and it won't be pretty. Ooh, they keep it real here. Death, bankruptcy, job loss, a breakup, injury, and the and the like follow this card there's nothing you can do about it except embrace the chaos i love this look at look at the enemy they've associated with the, with the tower it's attack on titan very much attack on titan full metal alchemist brotherhood oh the gate i love how it also talks about which specific here the founding titan <laughs> Oh, this is a great deck. I love this. I love that it actually, for the Major Arcana, tells you characters that kind of embrace that card's energy. I love it. I'm going to give this deck a 11 out of 10 because it surprised me with actually giving me a little tidbits of anime in the guidebook as well and the guidebook is full color which i haven't seen in a while like i said it doesn't really matter to me i'm not like deducting points for a guidebook not being in full color but this is a very chunky guidebook it has like full detail about uh each card it gets its own page and there are some uh spreads in the front including a one card it tells you how to just pull a card it gives you a little bit about the imagery telling you that it's based off the rider weight deck and it just tells you how to care for your deck over a long time and like i said there are spreads here there's a three card spread it tells you the celtic cross which is nice because i haven't been seeing this spread in a lot of uh tarot books or guidebooks recently like modern ones i haven't been seeing it as much and i absolutely love this spread i probably will do a podcast episode 
going into this spread because I don't see it much anymore and it's a very well one that I grew up using my grandma always used the Celtic spread but nonetheless it's nice to see it in this guidebook and it's nice to see a guidebook that goes into such detail and is full color like this is a very chunky guidebook for a tarot deck so 11 out of 10 probably the highest rating since the Midnight City tarot deck which is probably like a 20,000 out of 10 because you know that's my favorite deck so far but this one really surprised me I loved the art and I loved the meanings behind the guidebook let me know if you enjoyed this video what other tarot decks you want to see me unbox in the future but most importantly as usual stay beautiful keep shining and i will see y'all next time bye